Hey, it's Lucky. Unrecord has been very popular lately on YouTube. I've seen a lot of people posting videos of the gameplay, saying it's so realistic and that the graphics are amazing, which they are. But I looked at the gameplay further and I thought I could make a similar controller. So that's what I did. I opened up Godot and I played around a little bit with effects and things I saw in the trailer until I had something similar. I found out the main part of the effect is uh, really conveying that this is a GoPro mounted to somebody's chest instead of a first person view which most games have. Uh, this effect is best sold by moving your camera a little lower so it's more between the arms than above the arms. Uh, adding a bunch of random noise to the camera so it looks like it's just mounted to close. Uh, adding this vignette that you can see around the sides. This really helps sell the effect that you're a small little camera with a fisheye lens. Uh, and of course the field of view has to be very high. Another thing that helps to sell the effect is uh, auto exposure. It's a physical camera attribute in your world environment in Godot. And it makes sure that uh, sometimes it overexposes a little bit when you go inside or when you just turn outside, which uh, small body cams also have. I also added a bunch of jerky movements to the hands and to the camera and the vignette to create this effect of depth. And then I just made some movement. I'm actually cheating with the movement in this controller. Uh, the forward movement is half the speed of the side to side movement because with this fisheye effect it looks like you're sprinting forward and like crawling to the side. So I just compensated for that. So yeah, the hand rig I just found on this old website for first person animation uh, rigs. I'm not sure if I can link it, there's a lot of copyright material on there, but you can find it in a couple of Google searches. And the Glock I still had laying around from an old project. I'll link uh, the video below where I show this project. So I finished this project in one hour. I didn't really set a timer or make it a challenge for myself, but the footage just happened to be one hour when I hit uh, stop on the recording, which I was actually very happy about because I plan on competing in Ludum Dare. Ludum Dare is one of the, if not the biggest game jam event in the world. And it's this weekend. And this is going to be my first year competing. So I'm glad I'm up to speed. I hope I can make something nice. I might live stream some of it. I'm not sure if there's any interest. So I'll talk a little bit more about uh, this project. The stage I just built with a CSG combiner node. And the floor is just Kenny's grid textures, which I always use in every project, which I'll link below. Yeah, so most of this hour was spent tweaking settings for the jerkiness and the random movements to try and get it to look like body cam footage. But I think it turned out really nice for one hour. I don't have any plans for a bigger project on this, so just selling the effect and getting the vibe was the main goal. All right, I'll let the rest of the time lapse play out so you can see me building the rest of the demo. Yeah, if there's any interest in a live stream for Ludum Dare, let me know or just check in in this channel uh, in the last day of Ludum Dare. That's when I'm free, the first day I'm actually working. So it's going to be quite a crunch. As always, if you want to see a tutorial on anything shown in this video, let me know and I'll make one. I think that's enough of me blabbing on, so I'll let you enjoy the rest of the footage. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.